Map method is an array method for updating an array and create a new array from existing array. So I create here new numbers array and pass 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now I want to multiply each array element with 10. So we can do that by using map method. So we write here numbers dot map. Now in this map method, we have to pass a function. So let's create function called updated and pass this function here. Just see this and you will understand how this map method works. Now how can we get value of this each element? So we get each element value by using this first parameter in this function. Let's say n. Now we simply return n into 10. Remember that this map method returns a new array. It will not change the previous array. So let's store this new array in variable called new array and simply console.log new array. Save this and see we get 10, 20, 30, 40. So let me explain you what is happening here. This map method is work life for each loop, which means when we pass this function here, in this first parameter, we get each item. So first of all, we get 1 and then we return 1 into 10, which is 10. So this map method first add 10 in array. Then we have 2, so it returns 20 and 30 and 40. So whatever we return from this function, it will add in new array. And this function runs for each item. Simple as that. Now this looks little bit long. So we can directly define function in map method. So remove this and write function. And here we write our code. Now we can even simplify this by using arrow function syntax and simply return n into 10. Now when we have only one expression which is return then we can remove this return and curly brackets also. See how simple and clean it looks. Save this and see it works the same as before. Now let me show you another use case of map method. So I create another array called users and for each user details we pass here object. So first object is name to Harley and country to US. Next we have name to Lisa and country to Australia. And last we have name to Robert and country to Germany. Now I want to create a new array which have only country names from this users array. So we use users.map and we got each user arrow function and return user which is this single object dot country. Now let's store this new array in variable called country and after that we will print this country array. Save the changes and see we get all country. Now we can also get all names from these users. Just we have to pass here user dot name. Now let's rename this so press F2 and we write here name array. Save this and see we get all names. So with map method we can also fetch new array. Now we can also add conditions in map method. Let's say we want to add condition like if username is Harley then return John. So we use here ternary operator for conditions. So first we add condition which is user dot name equals to Harley. If it is true then we return John as user dot name. So this question mark is for true condition and this colon is for false. Simple as that. You can also use if else condition but you have to add that in curly brackets. So we can do whatever we want to, just we need to return something and that will add in our new array. Save this and see, we get John at Harley. Now what if we want to get the index of current item? So we get index from second parameter. So I write here index, you can call it whatever you want to. 
Now we change condition. If index not equals to 2, then add user.name else new name. Save this and see for index 2, it return new name. So that's how you can use map method in different different situations. So map is used to update the array and fetch array from existing array. But remember, it always return new array. It will not change our original array. And one more thing, map is not same as for each loop. It works for each item. So I hope you understand all about map method. In the description box, you will get cheat sheet of map method. So download it and see you in the next tutorial.